It was something we had never seen before. You know, when you watched Lynx golf for the first time and saw everything brown and saw dust and the ball rolling. Um, but I, I got captivated by later on seeing guys like Tom Weisskopf, Johnny Miller, and Tom Watson, who I'd grown up idolizing and watching on TV, uh, share their passion about what it was they liked about Lynx golf. I fell in love with this the second I got off the airplane over there and, and he had to play shots that I had never played before. You know, bouncing a wedge 10, 15, 20 yards before a green, hitting a five iron into the wind from 140 yards or hitting a nine iron 200 yards. It brought out something in me, something more creative than anything I'd ever seen or done before. I don't know if Darwin was the first golf writer, but if he wasn't, he was tied for first, wasn't he? And, and he could put pen to paper and make the, the facts of the game, which you would think sometimes are really boring or menial to write about, and keep you interested. Players that I've talked to have had pretty good experience. When you talk about the experiences of Tom Watson, Jack Nicklaus, Ian Baker Finch, Raymond Floyd, Ernie Els, Nick Price have all had over there, it's in their soul. It's not something that's, yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> and, you know, when a player's gone over to play and won an Open, they like to revisit that. And most of the time, they've fallen in love with the Lynx golf. And when this project gets done, and you're, you're able to see what, what the new technology can do and bring it to the screen and, and how you are going to make this thing look so fantastic. Yeah, it will inspire people from all over the world. Hi, I'm Brad Faxon, and welcome to the golf courses of Great Britain and Ireland.